Good morning, ESM. My name is Samuel Kehi, and today to start off the show, we're going to kick it off with news with Olivia. Yesterday, the Jefferson County Grand Jury decided none of the officers involved in the Breonna Taylor sh shooting were to be charged, and no homicide charges were issued. However, former Louisville police officer Brett Hankinson was indict indicted on three felony counts of first-degree wanton for endangerment due to several shots entering a neighboring apartment. Protests arose in major U.S. cities as marchers chanted while holding posters dedicated to Taylor. In Louisville, two officers were shot and endured non-life-threatening injuries. In Denver, a car drove through protest. No one was injured. In Atlanta, the authorities used chemical agents on protesters. In Portland, Oregon, a riot was declared and a video was released which appeared to show a Molotov cocktail being thrown at officers. It was discovered yesterday through a tenant of the financially strapped Shopping Town Mall that current tenants were just given 30 days notice that they all need to vacate the building. Moonbeam Capital, the property's owner, listed the mall as sold back in August with no looking into the legality of this along with the unpaid property taxes. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The weight room is opening Monday, September 21st with social distancing restrictions. If you want to use the weight room before or after school, you must make a reservation. Walk-ins will not be allowed. Join the weight room Google Classroom to make reservations or see the rules. The, to join, the code is 4RYVWM2. If you have any questions, email Mr. Ashbacher at mashbacher at esmschools.org. Today we will have a high of 78 with mixed sun and clouds. Friday and Saturday we'll have highs of 81 with some sun and clouds. Sunday we will have mostly sunny skies with a high of 83. Monday and Tuesday there are expected snow showers with highs of 72 and 68. Wednesday we will have a high of 65 with some showers. I'm Gabby with your weather. Fun fact about the Syracuse basketball team, they are the tallest they've ever been since the late 80s. Joe Girard is the only player listed under 6'5". There are five players listed at the 6'10", or taller. The Miami Heat defeated the Boston Celtics 112-109 in Game 4 of the Eastern Conference Finals to take a 3-1 series lead. Rookie Tyler Hero hit several big shots and scored 37 points to lead Miami to a win. Tonight, the Miami Dolphins head to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. <laughs> 